Well, hi everybody. Uh, just had a few uh, comments saying they wanted to see what I use for my grass, for my static grass I put on all my bases, uh, for the different games and everything. It's pretty much the same style of uh, basing material, which is all this woodland scenic stuff here. And you can see I put it all in a cup. It's a mixture that I make. So I'm just going to show you what everything that goes into making it. Uh, so you got the Woodland Scenics, I have a fine ballast, a coarse ballast, that gives you that rocky texture that you'll see in my uh, base grassing. And then we have the different uh, Woodland Scenics, we have the green blend, and then we have the medium green. This one here is a little bit longer, this gives you kind of a rich green color aspect to it. But this gives you the tall grass kind of look, along with the uh, harvest gold. Because even if you let stuff grow out, eventually the taller grasses will um, dry up and die, you know, or they go to seed, basically. So you're going to have some more gold aspects to it. If you ever look at a field that's been sitting out there forever and a day unattended, eventually it starts to turn brown. So that's what that's for. Now over here... We have now if you want to put tall grass tufts and stuff, uh, Army Painter has these wonderful like mountain tufts, you know, that you see how they they stick up like that. You got the green ones, they have a whole bunch of colored ones, and this one's the mountain tuff. So, yeah, they're kind of nice. So, if you got more of a green aspect to your grass, you could put these in here to give some, some contrast and height to your, your models. So Let's see here we got some Star Wars Legion models here you can see the basing on those you can see that's my grass uh, mixture on there and over here here's a Battletech base and this is a map scale um, here you can see it has the uh, mixture on it so it gives you a kind of a nice contrast especially if you got a lighter color aspect here you can add that so, so that is the all the materials now over here so if you want to go a woodland uh snow field which you could go it's like uh put a little bit of this tall stuff here on the base and then you could uh, fill out the rest of it with uh, snow effects so if you wanted a nice winter combo that would be the two together so which i've done it's like my um uh, uh, what do you call it uh, dark elves that i have uh i was going more of the the winter scheme for their bases so it is possible to go that route or if you're going to say you're playing bolt action and then you got some let's say russians and winter um smocks or uh, americans in let's say their winter uh uniforms you know the long coats and stuff like that you could put a white in brown together like this and give you that uh, good looking winter uh, scenic look so I got that and army painter has a large prefla of tufts that you can look through if you uh, look online you can find it probably get it off amazon i lucky enough i have it in a local store over here called mayhem uh, comics uh you know, it doesn't cost very much to, you know, seven bucks. And you get a lot of tufts. I just started opening this one up just not too long ago and started using it. So there's a lot of tufts in there. You know, it's like if you put one or two on a base, you know, you can fill up a lot of bases because there's 77 of them in there. So they go a long ways for the price. All right, so what I'm going to do is come back. I'm going to set up my... Uh, a uh, little uh, tripod here and set my camera up on it and then I'll show you my mixture. All right, we'll be back. All right, we're back. All right, here we go. I got a container here. Uh, this is just something I picked up at my local grocery store. This is microwave safe. I think it cost me th like three, four dollars for three of these. They're about a buck a piece. So if you find them anywhere, they just screw on top. These work really good, really cheap. Uh, I also, like I showed here earlier, I got my yogurt container. You can pick these up like in the uh, dairy section. You know, I just eat the goodies inside and then you go from there. 
So I have a whole preful of different containers I use. Now, the, the big thing I always do is I start off with a little bit of fine ballast. Let's open this thing up, put a little bit of fine ballast in the bottom. There you go, just a wee bit. You can see it's not much. All right, so that kind of gives you a little bit of texture with your uh, basing material. And then I add some coarse ballast. And add, it's kind of like, there we go. So now you can see is that roughly about that much of your container is going to be full of ballast material. Now, you kind of eyeball it in the beginning and just kind of figure out how much you, you want to need in here for your mixing. And then I add some static, you know, it's like the, uh, the medium green. This is the one that looks like a little bit longer grass. Now, if you have a uh, um, thing that allows you, you hook it up to the base and it creates a static when you put the glue down and it uh, kind of rises up. So you can see that it's just a little, not much, but it's in there. And then I add a little bit of the dark, you know, it's kind of a darker green. Okay, that kind of fills it in. And then now, if you want just this, you could leave it like that with just a little bit of brown in there of the um, Harvest Gold from Woodland Sinks. You could add just a little bit just to add some color to the con you want a little bit of contrast. Now what you do is you just put the lid on this thing and just shake it up. Shake it, shake it. And eventually, you know, now you can see you got more of a green aspect of it. You can see all the different colors. You got the little bit of rock in there. So you can tell that you have that uh, going on for you. So that gives you a greener look. Now if you want a little more brown, like a getting closer to late summer or fall look when it's been growing up for a while, just add a little more Harvest Gold to it. Just a little more. And this will kick it over into the more browner. So you can play with it. So you can make, so if you buy a, th like I do, you can have a three pack of this. And you could have three different versions. You could have one that's all green. And then you could have one that's like the, the first one I mixed together that's kind of a green with a tad bit of brown in it. And then you got this one here that's moving more into the, uh, more brown aspect to it. So if you want even more, you can put more Harvest Gold into it and create more of a, um, work your way more into the later fall. So I just add a little, but, so in this case now it's about three to one Harvest Gold versus uh, one, one part of the medium green and one part of the, uh, uh, green blend all right and if you want more rocky aspect you can put more of the ballast in and just shake this up and I can already tell us it's starting to turn more brown now if you want to go strictly more brown you could uh, bypass let's say one of the greens preferably this one keeps it really green green so if you don't add that one in you're going to have more of the brown. And now you can see that's getting more of a gold color to it. You can tell. More gold. Which is kind of like what I go with. This is uh, what I have. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I'm going to add just a little bit more rock to this. Because I'm not seeing it very well. Add uh, another part of the ballast the meat of brown fine ballast and a little more of the coarse ballast all right so add that in there so those are the things you can do you can play with this all you want you shake this up that's a nice thing just shake in action and now you can see the rocks in there a little bit better you can see it oh you can see back to because I like to having that rock it gives a little bit of contrast to uh, your basing material
So, and you can just leave that like that. And there you go. That's basically what I do. Now, uh, I forgot here, where is it? Here it is. Pull this out of here. I have way back and way it's like hey one thing you can go is go out into the yard and find sticks break them up you get sticks that just fall out of trees make excellent uh basing material also for giving you contrast especially if like say you're playing bolt action or something and you want you can snap these things up split them and everything and put them on bases like uh to your heart's content now here I have some really fine graveling material also here. I bought a bag of this. It was uh, from fit for fish tanks. Uh, so rock that goes in the fish tank. So you have this. So you could put a little bit of this on the base first. Let with, glue it down with like a little bit of super glue. And then you can um, put your flocking material on. This will give you this kind of a nice rocky material look to your base and give you a little bit of contrast too if you want to go that route so then you can always go out and pick up rocks i got all kind of i got a whole bag full of rocks like this so if you want equivalent like a boulder or something on your base especially if you got a, a model that's kind of tippy put a rock on it that'll hold her down better so there you go so there's some um, other ways of doing things. Oh, I just found out where I was like trying to find where my Halloween model was. And I just buried it back here in my shelf. It's amazing what you find when you're like a pack rat. All right. Here. So that is a few things that you do uh, for blocking your bases. So depending on how green you want or how brown you want, you can make your mixture however you want to go. So... That is the um, main five components I always put into all my uh, flocking material. All right, let's get the flock out of here. All right, talk to you later. Help Rex out.